Most people don't head into marriage thinking about divorce, but for some young couples, wedded bliss doesn't last much longer than the honeymoon. Pamela Paul wrote a book called The Starter Marriage and the Future of Matrimony after her own first marriage ended shortly after it began. Pamela Paul, good morning. Good morning. First of all, tell me what is a starter marriage? Yeah, it doesn't sound like a very good term, does it? Nobody wants <laughs> to really. think that uh, that's what they're in for. Um, generally, a starter marriage lasts for five years or less, and it always ends before children begin. But as you say, unlike a starter home, nobody goes into it thinking, oh, I'm just in this temporarily and I'm going to trade up to something better. Everyone thinks that they're going in it for a lifetime. And these people are usually under the age of 30. They're Gen Xers. Yeah, well, I looked at Gen Xers because I think marriage, you know, has changed so much in the last 30 years and this is the first generation to be the children of divorce generation to have grown up after the women's movement and to be the first generation after the baby boomers so I thought it would be an interesting thing to look at how marriage plays out. With and they them. didn't take marriage lightly, as you say. No, no, definitely not. I mean, people really expected to get married for a lifetime, and because they grew up with divorce, you know, they know that it's that it's out there, but they think, okay, that was before, that was an earlier generation. It's not going to happen to me. All right, let's go through some of the celebrities that you mentioned in the book that had starter starter marriages. You mentioned Drew Barrymore, uh, Courtney Thorne Smith, Uma Thurman. Uh, even, of course, Madonna with Sean Penn, you mentioned as a starter marriage. Right, Julia Roberts, uh, who, you know, a bunch of them actually star in, in a lot of these marriage movies, these wedding movies, so it's kind of ironic. So they get married for questionable reasons. Many think that it will fix a relationship or make them stronger as a couple. Right, or, I mean, I think there's a lot of fear and pressure involved in getting married, and people don't like to admit it to themselves, but there's this feeling of, oh my God, you know, I'm 27, and I've got the job, I have my social life, I have the apartment, and I don't want to end up being 30 and not married. So there's this sense that, you know, I've got to get married. Maybe all my friends are doing it. Exactly. I better jump in. Right. And so it's obvious that these marriages then would fail. Yeah, I mean, the marriages were the mistake to begin with. I think for most of these couples, they don't think that getting divorced was the wrong idea. They think they shouldn't have gotten married to start with. Can you spot a starter marriage? Are there signs to look for? Well, I think that you can tell a lot before you go in. There, A lot of people look back and they said, you know, there were all these red flags and, you know, I was so focused on getting married and so focused on the wedding day that I didn't pay attention to these signs. I mean, one of the things is that a lot of people expect their marriage to change. Now, of course, they won't say that outright, but they'll think, well, after we get married, you know, I think he'll be more responsible. Obviously, he's committed if he's getting married to me, if he wants to get wed. And, you know, there's all these subconscious thoughts that go through one's head that you think things will get better once you get married. I also think at that age, it's more about the wedding itself and the white dress and the reception and all the people that are invited rather than the marriage. Yeah, and you know, that's one day. And there's 50 or 60 years to follow that if you get married, as most women do, an average at 25 today. Is there life after a starter marriage? I hope so. <laughs> Did you find with these people that you looked at? Yeah, I mean, one third of them, a little bit more than one third had remarried. Many of them had kids and they said from the day one, you know, from the wedding day, things were completely different. They felt like the best preparation they could have had for marriage was actually getting divorced. So the second marriage worked out better than the first. Did the first one actually prepared them for the second? Is that what you're saying? Right. I mean, like a starter home, when you leave and you know, okay, next time I'm going to check the insulation, I'm going to make the basements, sure the basement is finished. When you leave a starter marriage, you've learned such important lessons about what to look out for and, and what to avoid the next time around. You had your own starter marriage? I did. <laughs> I did. I found myself at age 28 very unexpectedly divorced. Never thought it would happen to me. You know, thought I was getting married for a lifetime. And it felt totally inappropriate. I mean, to be 28 and a divorcee, it felt like, you know, I had arthritis or glaucoma or something. Um, and I felt really alone. Um, but I shortly found out that I definitely wasn't the only person out there. There mm -hmm. are a ton of people my age who've mm -hmm. gone through this. What did your ex-husband think of you writing this book? Um, <laughs> I think he's <laughs> glad that I did, didn't focus on our, on our own marriage. But, uh -huh. you know, I think there's a lot to be learned from people who've gone through this to look at what happened to other people who've had this experience. And a lot of the people I interviewed were much further out. So they were like five years out of their marriage. And for me, who was, you know, pretty soon out of, my, out of my marriage at the time. It was a huge lesson. Final note, biggest lesson you learned from a start of marriage is? Um, I'm not a failure, you know. My marriage failed um, and I think that I'm in a good place to get married again, hopefully. <laughs> The book is The Starter Marriage and the Future of Matrimony. Pamela Paul, good to see you. Thank you. Interesting. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. 745 now. Up next, why blindness is on the rise in America. That